Hello guys, welcome back. This is the continuation of the creating virtual environments series. In this particular video, I will show you how you can create the Conda environment out of Conda. First, we will see how we can install Conda in your system. Then we will create and activate the virtual environment or Conda environment in this case. And also see how we can install different packages inside it export the whole virtual environment and create out of it and deactivate the virtual environment or Kunda environment also delete the environment let's get started you can install Kunda in different machines this is the main website i will put the link in the description box this is mini Kunda. as it says here mini Kunda is a free minimal installer for Kunda. it is a small bootstrap version of anaconda so if you want to go with Anaconda, it's fine. The terminal commands and all the things are the same. I just want to install the small version of Anaconda, which is Miniconda. You need to first make sure that you fulfill all the system requirements. And after that, there are latest Miniconda installer links for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. You need to first make sure which Python version you have in your system. For me, I'm going to use the Linux machine. And here I'm going to use with the terminal commands. But if you are using Windows, I recommend you to go with this. Let me see. In the Windows, you can just click this and it will install locally. And then you can install the UI process. But here in Linux, I'm not going through the UI, but from the terminal. For that, you need to first make sure which version of Python you have. So I go to my terminal. And then here, I need to make sure, okay, what is my Python version? So I can just type Python dash dash version. So I have 3.10.4. So if I go back here in the Linux, I must go with the Python 3.10. And here there is Miniconda, Linux, Arg, and all these things, right? You need to make sure which one you have before you start this, right? But for this, I am going to just right click this and copy link address and if you go to the terminal you can use either call or uh, wget you, i will be using wget so you just type wget and control v paste the things that you just copied from the website and if you run enter it will download that but we need to actually install this is just starting from the internet but one thing what you need to notice here is see the hashes for your mini conda installer because this is the hash to make sure this is right version you need to if we go through the verify your installation link here it will show you how you can do that for linux this is how we can do so sh a 256 som so i will copy this one and i will paste here and the file so i downloaded the file called mini conda if i run this you need to see something like this, which shows the actual hash. And if you compare this, this is 3 to D, starting with 3 to D, right? So if you, we go back to the page, so I install this one, it is 3 to D, right? So this is the correct version. So the next thing is we need to install this, right? So for installation instructions, there are all different things. You need to go down here. For me, I'm going with the Linux. So how can we install this here? We can just type bass in that terminal. So I can just go here and I can type bass and then miniconda. So if you run enter now, it is saying, okay, welcome to this and all these things. You can follow. If you type enter, it will show you some license requirements. You need to type enter all the way. And then if you scroll all the way down, you read if you want to read this and after you went to the all the end, it says yes or no. I have already installed, so I'm not going to install it again. But for you, you need to type yes, then it is going to install a mini conda for you. For me, I will just say no, because if I type conda dash dash version, I already have the conda installed. So for you, after you run that particular command, you need to type conda dash and if there is this output in your terminal then you are good to go now that i have conda installed in my system with the command conda dash dash version now let's create the conda environment 
But before creating the Conda environment, let's see that what environment I have already existing here. So you can type Conda env list. It shows you that I have different environments because I already created different environments for me. I have environment one environment and then base environment for you. Only the base will be seen on the screen when you first install this. So now let's create another virtual environment. For that, you need to type create and then you need to provide the name. Let's say we give my env2 just for example. And if you type enter, it will ask you if you want to create the environment. Yes, I want to create it creates the environment and for now we create the environment, but we need to activate the environment. But before that, I want to show you something here. If I type Conda list, I have different packages installed, right? So that is the beauty of virtual environments that we just can isolate from your system packages. And now let me again clear the screen and activate the virtual environment. So Conda activate my env2 right so now once that is activated this my env2 appears in in front of your terminal command and if we now do conda list as we did before we don't have anything meaning that this is now this project which is conda practice is now isolated from your system packages you can install as many packages as you want now so let's say we want to install conda install numpy so it is going to install numpy for me yes i want to install let me clear the screen and now if i do conda list you can see that only those packages i installed and the one it is in the particular my env2 virtual environment are only shown here so this is how you can isolate from your existing or your system or or your different project with the one that you are currently working which needs particular projects or packages or something like that so now let's say that we want to deactivate the virtual environment how we can do that we can just type conda and deactivate we are back in the main terminal so if we do conda env list now we see that we have four of these different virtual environments okay so now let's create a scenario you want to work with different version of python Let's say we have here Python dash test version. We have 3.10.4. What if you want to work with Python 3.9 in Conda with one line of command, we can achieve that. What you need to do is you can just type Conda create that we did before. Give the name of the virtual environment. Let me give three for now. And then you can just provide the version of Python you want to use. So it's Python 3.9. So if I run this, it will create the virtual environment with Python 3.9. I will show you that for that. You can just type Conda activate my env3 if you clear the screen. And now if you type Python version, you can see now it is Python 3.9.16. So it is isolated from the system Python version. So that is that simple. You can now you can install the packages that and needs Python 3.9 because some of the package just needs the particular version of Python. Now let's see how we can remove the Conda environments. For that first we need to see what we have right. Conda env list. We have base env2 and 3. Let's say we want to remove the my env2. How we can do that? We can just say Conda env remove and pass the name of the virtual environment or conda environment in this case so it will remove all the things and if we again see conda env list we don't have my env2 so that is that simple to remove the conda environments from your system it's good to clean all the unnecessary environments okay one good part of conda environment is that you can actually export the whole conda environment for that let me first go and see conda env list you have base my env and my env2 right if you want to see what is inside the my env we can type conda e list and then let's see what we have inside the my env by the way this is good command 
if you are not inside any virtual or Konda environment also, you can see what are the packages that are being installed with Konda list and provide the name of the environment. So now we have installed NumPy here, right? And all the different packages. This my env. Let's say that we want our friend also to use exactly the same copy of this Konda environment. How to achieve that, right? What you can do first is go inside the virtual environment. So we can do Konda activate and the environment. So it is my env, right? Now we are inside my env. What you can type is Konda env export. And then if you just type environment.yml. So what this does is it will create a file called environment.yml. Let's see what is inside that cat environment yml. So it will have all the dependencies in that. It will also have some prefix which says that, okay, where it was installed and the name of the Honda environment and the channels is default. So now let's say that we will, we just send this environment.yml file and your friend can install the whole environment, Konda environment in their system. So just to simulate that, what we can do, we can clear the screen. Let me deactivate Konda de deactivate. So now I'm outside. Now let me remove the Konda environment. Konda env remove name my env. So now I don't have that my env if i just make sure i don't have the my env so now let's simulate that i am your friend right now i have the environment at yml right so how can i create the whole konda environment out of this what i can type is konda env create just type the f flag and the environments at yml so if you run this command it will collect all the package metadata and then start creating a Konda environment for you. So it says here now to activate the Konda environment, you can use that command, but just to make sure if it is being created, we can type Konda env list, and you can see here that there is my env being created. And now you can follow the same thing that I showed you before to activate the uh, Konda environment. Yeah, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.